All right, it's Kendall and for reviews and news. Jada Pinkett Smith graces the cover of People Magazine, and she's had several interviews leading up to her new book coming out, Worthy, which I'll be at the book signing. So excited about that. If you know me, you know that since all of this Jada drama has been going on, I have been vocal, right? So uh, one of the blogs posted this and to read the comments just really upset me because they keep blaming Jada, as you know, for Will's behaviors and mistakes and all of that. First, humans make mistakes, period. Ain't nobody out here getting it right 100%. And I've read Will Smith's book six times. And a lot of times people have not even opened up a page of that book. And if they did, they would understand their dynamics and their relationship better. Everyone keeps talking about the entanglement and all of that. People don't even know, first of all, that they were separated. They have been separated since 2016. There, she thought about filing divorce the official way but they're not so they're trying to figure out they're still in they're still loved by each other meaning they love each other they've been together 30 years right so love just doesn't go away like that but sometimes it does transform into different types of love right if you read Will Smith's book you know that he talks openly about relationships that he's had people that he's talked to, um, things that he's done directly or indirectly to Jada, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But to keep saying she don't mind embarrassing Will, she don't, why should she carry the brunt on her shoulders about a grown man, right? No one has responsibility over anyone other than themselves. And because she has been silent in some cases, you know, Red Table, she shares some, but she hasn't spoken in some cases, people are like, oh, well, she's embarrassing him. His actions are his actions. Her actions are her actions. Surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Okay, so we're not in the marriage, we're not in the relationship, we're not in the friendship, we're not in the separation, the divorce, all of that. So no matter what they share, no matter what our opinions and views are, no matter what we think, and this is for all journalists out there, all people who have an opinion, unless it comes out of her mouth or his mouth, then everything else is speculation, right? So I believe the two that are in the relationship, non-relationship, friendship, marriage, all of that. And... It's so interesting because relationships, the dynamics of relationships are so impactful in your life, right? And if you've read Will Smith's book and you've heard Red Table Talk and with Jada, she never wanted conventional marriage. And a lot of things Will said himself that he pushed on Jada. He, she sacrificed a lot. In his own words, he says this. And when he wanted to get with Jada after his divorce from Cherie, he called Jada and was like, are you seeing anybody? And she said, no. He said, well, you seeing with me? And she said, okay. And what people don't realize is she was in Maryland at her farmhouse that she just purchased and she quit the entertainment business. And then when he and Jay, she and Jada got, uh, he, excuse me, Will and Jada got together she moved to LA and she never spent a night in her farmhouse. People don't know the inner makings of your relationship unless you tell them, right? The people close to you know, the people that are um, in your household know, 
but we don't really know. I'm so excited to read her book. It's called Worthy. And not just to get the tea. What's the tea? What's the tea? But I, as a life coach, I love to see the beginnings of people's lives. I love to hear the backstory because it allows me to understand and show compassion and have empathy uh, for people. Because you never know if you're in someone else's shoes how you would approach life, right? And everything that you experience coming up and through life affects your life and what you do and the choices and the decisions that you make going further and forward in your life. All right. All right. So check out People Magazine with Jada on the cover. Also read her new book, Worthy, when it comes out. And if you're able to go to a book signing and are able to catch out the Today Show interview, do that. Let me know what you think. I'm not out here judging no man or no woman because people use the tools that they have and do the best that they can with what they have. And it's not for us to pick apart, but let's try to show some compassion and understanding. And hopefully when you get her full side and then you read Will's book, then you may understand or you may never understand, but we don't have to be mean because we don't agree. Kendall Anise, The Remix Coach, Reviews and News.